Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week I posted that Microsoft was finalizing our next optional update for Windows 11, rolling out shortly. And yesterday in my region on the 15th, Microsoft released the latest optional bug fix C release update to the release preview channel Insiders, where it's undergoing its final testing before it rolls out, uh, possibly starting next week to the general public. And the next update is KB5036979 for Windows 10 version 22H2. And today in my region, we are on the 16th. So because that rolled out um, yesterday on the 15th, there's a strong possibility we will see our next optional updates for Windows 10 and Windows 11 rolling out starting next week, Tuesday, the 23rd of April, 2024. Now, the update is optional. So if you do decide to install it when it rolls out in a couple of days, the build for Windows 10 22H2 will be bumped up to 19045.4353. Now we get one new feature. And this is another Windows 11 feature that Microsoft is now making available over on Windows 10. So as I have posted since late last year, Microsoft has been focusing a lot more on bringing some Windows 11 features over to Windows 10. And the new feature is that the update starts the rollout of account related notifications for Microsoft accounts in settings home. So this is your settings home over on Windows 10. So basically what's going to happen with the account related notifications is that um, they will keep you informed about various aspects of your account according to Microsoft and you'll be notified about your account status including any important security information or recent activity that pertains to your account's security and this is exactly what we get over on uh, Windows 11 and over and above that uh, Microsoft says you will also be able to add extra security steps to keep you from being locked out of your account. And this feature displays notifications across the start menu and settings. Now, if you don't want to see these so-called account related notifications, you can manage your notifications uh, in settings, privacy and security. So to do this, when this does roll out, so in settings, you head to privacy and on the general page, all you need to do is toggle off show me suggested content in the settings app. Now, as you can see, I have three out of the four turned off and that's how I like to keep it on Windows 10 and Windows 11. It does um, stop a lot of the so-called advertising and notifications and so on appearing. So I do suggest that, but nonetheless, here's the one you need to turn off. Show me suggested content in the settings app when that feature does roll out. So starts the rollout of account related notifications for Microsoft accounts in settings home on Windows 10. Now that's the only new feature. And because this is a non-security bug fix update, if you want to stick around, just to go through a couple of the other fixes um, that I thought you may be interested. This is not a comprehensive list and obviously this is subject to change because uh, it's still in preview, but this gives us a good idea as more or less what to expect. So the update addresses an issue that affects app licensing. This, um, because of this, Copilot in Windows does not work as you expect. Now, I'm still waiting for Copilot to roll out to my Windows 10. But nonetheless, um, it is on a controlled rollout. So if you do have Copilot, that issue has been addressed. The update addresses an issue that occurs when your device resumes from modern standby. Apparently, it addresses a stop error, which is a blue screen of death. So any blue screen of death that, that gets fixed is a good move in the right direction, in my personal opinion. The update addresses a race condition that might stop a machine from starting up. This um, occurred when you set up a bootloader to start up mo multiple operating systems, and that also rolled out for Windows 11. Um, there are two memory leak fixes, and um, that should improve the performance because a memory leak means where um, memory is being excessively used when it shouldn't. So memory leaks are always good fixes in my personal opinion. And just uh, three more to go. The update affects hypervisor protected code integrity, HVCR. Um, apparently, it accepts drivers that are now compatible. So that's another important fix. And the update addresses an issue that affects some wireless earbuds. Uh, Bluetooth connections were not stable. And then the last one, just to mention, the update uh, addresses some changes to Windows Search. Apparently, it is now more reliable and it is easier to find an app after you install it. So that's a bit of a stability um, improvement for Windows Search. So that's it, guys. That's more or less what to expect. 
in our next optional bug fix series update for Windows 10 KB5036979, which should make it um, to the general public starting next week, Tuesday the 23rd. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.